Hey guys, what's up? Christian back with another video. Back here. Just want to tell a little story. <sighs> I just found one more belt. Hmm? I just found one more belt. Not about that. Well, 10 years ago today, May 23rd, 2007. Well, he got, my grandpa was diagnosed with a can, with some type of cancer on a Monday. Then that very next day, we left, went to an RV and we took off up to Connecticut. And, um, we stayed with him and we hung out with him in the hospital. We found out he was diagnosed and we jumped on, we jumped in an RV and traveled up to Connecticut all night. I think he stayed in the hotel on the way back, or on the way up there, I don't remember, but that's besides the point. But 10 years today, my dad's father departed us and went home to be with the Lord today. He was diagnosed with bone cancer, y'all. Okay. I remember the one thing he told me. I remember the one thing he told us all in the hospital, that he was ready to go. That he said he was ready to go. I guess at that time I kind of knew what he meant by that. He kind of didn't, I didn't know what, how to explain that to myself, but I accepted that he, he was ready to go. And the Lord called him home at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time on May 23rd, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. The Lord called him home. The Lord called him home to, to be an angel. I remember the one thing he told me probably a few hours, hours before he passed. I was already standing right there in front of him, so he told me to come here. So I did. He said, come a little closer, I want to tell you something. I said, what's that? He said, I'll always be with you right here, no matter where you go. I'll always be right here with you forever. I'll be where you go. I said, yes, sir. I remember when he started going. So I went to sit down for a minute or two. A few minutes later, I, I got back up. Cause my aunt, my dad's sister told her mom that he's going. So I got up, went over by, by the bedside and told him I would love you, I love you and I'll always I'll miss you forever. I held his hand to the very last minute until he went. That was my dad's father. I was very close to him. been a rough day emotionally. I've been trying to hold my own all day. I don't want to cry over it. I was the one who held his hand until the very last minute of his very last breath. I still don't know how he, I don't, still don't know how he's able to do that to this day. I still don't know how he's able to be that strong and hold his hand to the very end until he departed us. 
and went home with the Lord. And as soon as he went, I guess the door was already opened in the hospice room, to the hospice room. And I seen this bright white light come in the room. No kidding, I saw this bright white light come into the room. And my cousin Tim, he was sitting right there a few feet away. I said, we gotta go find my dad. I said, Tim, get up, we need to go find my dad. So he was in the room with us, me, my Aunt Mary, my grandma Janicky, and Tim. I think that was, I think Tara Queen was there too. My cousin Tara, my aunt, Mary's daughter. I think she was there, but I don't remember. But, for real, I saw a bright white light come into the room. No joke. And it disappeared as soon as it hit him. As soon as it went over him, it disappeared. Well, it shed a load over him for a minute, and I said to my, my cousin Tim, we need to go find my dad. And a little while later, my dad came back down. I said, was he gone by the time he got in there? He said, yeah. I said, what did y'all do? He said, we had a big family prayer session. I will always remember what he told me minutes before he passed away. Four hours before he passed away. He said, come here, I'll always be with you right here. No matter where you go, I'll always be right here with you forever. Don't you forget that. I said, I, will, I love you and I'll miss you. Yes, sir, I love you and I'll miss you. It's been a hard day, guys. Emotionally, I couldn't focus on nothing today. My mind's been all over the place. Guys, I just want to say I love each and every one of you guys very much. I, I'm very, very thankful for each and, every, each and every one of you guys. You guys are a great, amazing, supportive group of family. My YouTube family, you guys are amazing. I love each and every one of you guys. I mean, I thank you for all the love and support of my channel. I wasn't going to throw up a video today, but... To help me cope with this, I thought it'd be a great idea to come at come at you guys with this um video today. So y'all know, so y'all know what was going on with me today, what I was, what was going through my mind all day. So I just want to take this time to say thank you. I love each and every one of you guys. Christian Janet is signing off here. Rest in peace, Pops Janicky. You are an amazing, great man to our family. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Later, guys.